hi guys welcome back to this african perspective thank you for stopping by there have been a lot of complaints about the medical bills in america and there's actually you know people have different hot takes on it and some people are actually like oh it's a struggle to actually pay the bills after going to the hospital and needing any care like that because i mean it's so expensive you see the bills you're gonna be like oh even after having a uh, health insurance that you constantly have to pay monthly you still have to be when you get charged for visiting the hospital you get you have to pay a lot so that's why some people are just ranting about it and saying like hey like this is just too expensive compared to other countries and how much people pay in healthcare but before we get right into this video i want to give a big shout out to charles for 4.99 super thanks thank you so much i really appreciate your support for the channel it really means a lot to me don't forget to click the like button it really helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you're new here let's get right into it so i just got my hospital bill in the mail and before I had a baby, I always wondered how much it costs to have a baby here in the U.S. I have pretty good health insurance, but this is the breakdown of my hospital bill. So the first thing was the room where I stayed at, where I stayed at after delivery, and that was seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. Pharmacy, fifty-five dollars. Medical surgical supplies, $1,323. Non-sterile supplies, $2,437. Sterile supply, 50 bucks. Lab work, $1,484. Immunology, $450. Hematology, $1,098. Anesthesia, $6. $115 for that nice epidural. Drugs required, $59. Delivery room, $20,395 for a whopping total. Oh, wait, no, I missed it. I don't even know what the heck this is. $5,657. And then for a whopping total of $51,383. This is before insurance, and just as an FYI, there was no complications at all during my birth, natural delivery, no issues whatsoever. Right now there's a video going viral of this lady who's doing medical tourism in Turkey and doctors on Twitter are jealous. And this is normal. This is very normal because when you're in medical school from the very beginning, you get gaslit into thinking that American healthcare is the only healthcare that exists. And medical schools will indoctrinate you into thinking that if a patient even gets healthcare anywhere else outside of America, you got to like double and triple check the doctor that they saw because no doctor's as good as an American doctor. That's a lie. There are amazing doctors all over the world. Arguably, I'd say American doctors are the worst in the world, not because they're not smart, not because they're not talented, but because they were brainwashed into working for our healthcare system. I could go on about this for hours. Like, did you know the reason why Americans have to have health care from their job is because back in the day, in between World War I and World War II, the American Medical Association, which was made up of just doctors, has legislated actively. They have lobbied and lobbied and lobbied the government for years to make medicine profitable for themselves because that's what you do in america right if you're not a business owner then what are you doing if you're not draining the life and profits out of something then what are you doing but the gag is the american medical association has flown so far off the handle that they've lost control of the situation and now doctors have no control over the healthcare situation or the outcome in america they're just like zombies who were on automatic repeat i can't do anything i can't complain or my job's gonna fire me Meanwhile, the reason why healthcare is so expensive and inaccessible and why your doctor doesn't listen to you isn't because of your doctor anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. Now it's because of your insurance company mainly and pharmaceutical companies, but that's like a different thing. 
and hospital admin. And that's like a different thing too. But most doctors don't own their practice. They are owned by someone who does not work in healthcare, who is more concerned with revenues and bottom lines than they are with treating people. And a way that they can keep doctors complicit and keep patients complicit in turn is by convincing all of us that if you don't get healthcare in America, you're low key gonna die. Like they are talking about how, like, First, this lady's in Istanbul. Next, she's going to have all these random tests like, oh, my gosh, they did so many tests on her. She's probably going to get exposed to something. There's probably going to be a false positive that they're going to treat her for. And then it's going to end up ruining her life. You don't know that, Brad, Dr. Brad. You don't know that. You're just saying that because your medical school convinced you that you are the best thing since sliced bread and no other bread is made in the world besides America. I could rant about this for hours because when I tell you most of the problems in America are linked to us not having free and accessible health care and us not having accessible housing. I could Kylie Jenner and the lip tech, the lip filler crisis. That's because of lack of health care. You don't see that happening in other countries. Why is that just an American thing? So I just saw a video of someone in a hospital fully geared up dancing because they can't afford their hospital bills. What stage of capitalism is it where people in hospitals are dancing so that they can monetize a dance while recovering or still ill because they can't afford medical bills that are free in most other developed countries? You guys can see like it's really crazy and painful that a person would want to go to the hospital and then you're thinking and you're panicking within your heart like shit like I'm not feeling too well but if I go to the hospital it's gonna charge they're gonna charge me so much that I don't think I can do that like so sometimes some people are actually having to endure whatever sickness they have however they're feeling like if it's something that is bearable and it's not like you know do or die type of situation they will just be like you know what I'm just gonna wait and just wait till i get better <laughs> and so that's just it's really crazy that if you get taken in an emergency vehicle that you're going to be paying so much that sometimes they'd be like i'd rather just you know use an uber and just get there at the end of the day that for me to take that ride and then you guys just charge me so much for taking that ride and i'm like what like when i heard the price that some people actually have to pay for that i was like what the hell it costs so much so we're in valencia spain and my wife got sick and she'd been sick for like 10 11 days it's not getting any better it's just really really bad cold and flu symptoms so finally i was like let's figure out this spanish health care and let's let's see if we can get you antibiotics or something within 20 minutes of deciding that we really need to get a doctor she has her telemed appointment already scheduled and it started the cost of this appointment is 29 dollars with no insurance we don't pay taxes we don't have the benefit of free health care in spain like a, a tax paying citizen would have but 29 dollars to see a doctor effectively or a telemed doctor she talks to the doctor in english easy super easy to understand she explains what's going on they ask her some questions they say okay yeah it sounds like you need antibiotics they give her a prescription for antibiotics and something else and the way they give us prescriptions is they send an email that has a couple of QR codes on it. And you take your phone to a pharmacy, which they're on every corner, there's pharmacies here. And all you do is you walk in, you show them the QR code, or the email with the QR codes. They scan it, they turn around, and then they hand you the prescription. There's no name on it. You don't wait. There's no filling the prescription. None of that exists. Total cost for the antibiotics and another, like, medicine to make things run better right was eleven dollars so our total cost two hours from hey i think we should go to the doctor medicine in hand was forty dollars forty dollars and that's without insurance we're paying a thousand dollars a month for insurance and it would have cost us more than forty dollars just for our prescription not to mention whatever our part of the copay was 
for the doctor's appointment. Not to mention however long it would take us to get that appointment. Man, they're doing something right here in Spain, I'll tell you what. So here are three reasons why I don't have health insurance. And I actually haven't had it in, I don't know, maybe two or three years. Number one, it's too expensive. It's just, it's like several hundred dollars a month, even if it's just me and I never use it. And then the thing that makes me the most mad is even when I do use it, let's say I like even just go to urgent care or I just go to get a regular like checkup or whatever, they always charge me a copay. I understand how the insurance industry works, but like you get charged out of your paycheck, you still have to pay a copay. And then if there's like any like extra stuff or whatever, because you have to meet your deductible, right? They still charge you for that. Number two, I can't afford it. I can't afford for any money extra to be taken out of my paycheck because I already have to obviously I pay taxes and everything like that just such a large amount of money to be coming out of my paycheck every week every two weeks or whatever and it doesn't really feel like it has a lot of benefits for me it's like an emergency situation type of thing number three is I hate for anything extra that's unnecessary to come out of my paycheck because it just makes me so sad because my paycheck is already like so little and then just watching even more money just slip away out of it I'm just like Sometimes I'm just like, why am I even working? And so, you know, to minimize the feeling of just wanting to quit my job all the time, you know, I just like eliminate it for now. I probably will have to have it in the future, I guess. I mean, I do think of myself as like a reasonably healthy adult, you know, right now. It just doesn't seem worth it to me, especially when I watch all these videos about like how in other countries their healthcare system is honestly so much better and they basically pay nothing or very little for it. When I take my daughter to urgent care and she has, my kids have health insurance, but like when I take my daughter to urgent care, I still wait two to three hours for them to see her. So like, why? Why? It just doesn't make any sense. Like good thing she wasn't urgently bleeding from the head or anything. It doesn't seem like a good use of money to me. So tell me why I'm wrong. Do this. I wish that a lot of the medicines that we need are actually allowed to be in the pharmacy without us getting any doctor's prescription where you can just, you know, go get a majority of the pills, like not just, you know, some of them that you need, uh, you know, you need doctor's prescription. If they would allow that at least to reduce, we know even the pills are actually very expensive because some, some of the pills that I've bought in other countries and how cheap they were compared to buying them here in the US, like, oh my God, it's so expensive it costs way too much like you would even buy a whole year supply with the price that you spend to buy in the u.s you if you go to another country you buy a whole year supply for that so it's like if only they would even at least let you be able to get access to some pills without any you know prescription you just go to the pharmacy and you get it that would even reduce a lot of stuff you just know what is wrong with you you don't really need somebody repeating it sometimes this is not my usual content but as we all know, healthcare in this country is out of control. I lost my health insurance and I have to get a new health insurance plan. And so I went to the marketplace and just look at this. Ignore my dear computer screen, but the absolute cheapest healthcare that I could get is $618 per month. That's the cheapest. And listen to this. It doesn't stop there. Before I can even start using the health insurance, my deductible is $4,600. So that means I'm paying roughly $11,000 a year before I can even use this health insurance. This is just absolutely insane. Life seriously just keeps getting more and more expensive. Today, after 15 years, my doctor has broke up with me because now she has a $2,200 membership fee that is now included in order to have her as her primary doctor. I understand it from her perspective, but these subscriptions and membership fees and everything else and fees and fees, like... I told my fiance this morning, every single time that I get sick, I feel like this gutting sense of guilt because I know what it's going to cost me. Because I know, growing up, I knew what it was going to cost my family and I knew we didn't have a lot of money. You should not ever have to be in that headspace about life-saving medical care like I it's I, I, I'm sick I'm sick over this and I don't know how many times you can fucking scream it into the ether uh, it, it's asinine it's fucking asinine look I don't care how you do it just pay the bill what you want to ask about financial assistance what does this look like charity care 
okay, yes, we are required by federal law to have charity care programs because we're a nonprofit hospital and that's how we maintain our tax exempt status with the IRS. Well, aren't you smart? Yes, therefore, that means we will have to reduce or possibly eliminate medical bills for patients who financially qualify. But you're running out of time. Okay, you know that you have 240 days to apply for charity care, even if you've been sent to collections. Well, don't even bother, it's really difficult. You've also heard of the nonprofit Dollar Four, who will literally apply for charity care for you for free. You know what? Hang on one second. <laughs> Marsha, the people are catching on to our system. If they keep following Ecom Jess, they're gonna take our money. Due to how ridiculous the prices are for some health, for like you going into the hospital and get treated when they send you those bills, a lot of people have actually decided that maybe possibly they are not going to pay it, so they just have to give up on paying it because there's no way, there's no possible way that they'll be able to pay it. Because I've seen some people actually show what their medical bills are, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, how are you supposed to get that money for crying out loud? Like, you have to work for how many years without paying any bills at all before you will be able to show them, or for months and months and month and then before you can go and pay for that the whole insurance thing a lot of the insurance are so much like when it go if it's health insurance you need car insurance you need house like home insurance everything is just like the whole taxes and all have just been increased it's so much but i also feel like this healthcare specifically it's just way too much like they are really trying they're really doing too much to be honest like they are doing too much and I am not sure if I'm just the only one that thinks so because when you go for treatment, I notice that sometimes it could just be a mild little stuff and then when you see the bills for it, you're like, wait, what is happening here? Like, do I need to actually go and start fighting with you guys, going through so much um, hassle just to make sure that, oh, I confirm or try to, you know, negotiate the bill that you sent to me because I don't understand, like, how is that even humanly possible that it has to cost that much for me to get treated? But anyways guys like that's it for this video you guys what do you guys think about this make sure you click the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here clicking the like button really helps with the algorithm and i appreciate that so much i'll see you guys on the next one bye